Now listen, when you're on stage, you are never to stop smiling. All times, I don't care if someone hammers a nail into your foot. Tell me what I'm gonna do. You got a grandma? Conflict resolution is a skill that is indispensable in a day and age in which more communication turns virtual, and as such, can be more difficult to understand. In Don Salinas' Snappy Happy Half Hour, I will explore the way that nonverbal communication affects the ways individuals interpret our ideas in this increasingly digital world. Nonverbal communication, unfortunately, is not something you can skip out on. As long as you live and hopefully get outside your house, you'll realize the potential our movements serve in addition to our abilities to interact and find positive communication resolutions with others. Thankfully, Don Salinas is an expert playwright in addition to the many times my partner and I have successfully performed the script. While we're here, let's take a moment to review what exactly it is we're going to learn today in the next few minutes. First, I'm going to cover nonverbal communication and its effects on how others perceive us. In addition, to, we're going to discuss how conflict resolution is necessary to be successful. So first, let's discuss nonverbal communication and others' perceptions. Nonverbal communication has a profound effect on the ways others see us. Trust me when I say there really is nothing quite like getting flipped off by a mind. But that is exactly what happens in Snappy's Happy Half Hour. Now, our textbook, Real Communication, identifies nonverbal communication as the process of intentionally or unintentionally signaling meaning through behavior other than words. Now, to further explain, let's get back to the mind, Henry the mind to be exact. He says, you think you can find a better way than me? Check this out. Check out this miming action. Oh, you've been served, but you know what? I'm going downstairs as I go. Now, pelvic thrusting is just one way we can send verbal or nonverbal communication signals. Understanding nonverbal communication and its power is just as important as comprehending the necessity of conflict resolution. Now, conflict resolution is key in this day and age. Directors have a certain way of getting straight to our hearts, and Luca, the director, demonstrates for us how conflict resolution can go totally wrong if used incorrectly. Conflict resolution requires us to make choices that interact with others in a positive light to actually find a solution instead of using failed channels of communication. Let's take a closer look with Luca. No, you did it. I'm gonna find your grandma and shoot her in the face. Sorry, not sorry. Now, the good news for us is this. We can use conflict resolution to prevent scenes as seen below. Now, Luca perhaps could have used her nonverbal communication as with a bit higher tone and, of course, softer words to de-escalate the situation in which Luca called a child's name out on TV and threatened to basically kill his grandma. Now, regardless of your ethics, there is a problem here, and these situations can be removed and smoothed out with proper conflict resolution. So finally, with understanding nonverbal non communication and the power of conflict resolution, it's time to consider the big picture. During our short time here, we took the opportunity to better understand nonverbal communication and how it affects the ideas we communicate. Additionally, we took the opportunity to look at conflict resolution and its importance in our modern age. However you look at it, conflict resolution is an indispensable skill where communication turns ever more virtual and harder to understand. We better understand this concept in addition to nonverbal communication and its effects on our, our ideas perceived in Don Zelias' Snappy Happy Half Hour and our textbook, Real Communication. Now, as Tank the Techie once asserted from the play, I think it's time for a teaching lesson about the dangers of abusing prescription medication. You see, kids, you might think it's okay to take three or four times the recommended dosage of your prescriptions to silence the demons that live under your head. But that doesn't make it any better. That only pisses them off even more. 